Okay, here we are out in the shop again. Just going to try and make a little video on uh, a lot of people have ends on these welders where your ground goes on. A lot of them have it to where it goes in with a bolt goes right into there and you stick it through and it has to go through that um, connector and then it grounds to your ground clamp. I know it's not a very good clamp. I actually changed my clamp out yesterday and the reason that I did is I switched it to one of these here. Now this one here you can just stick your wire up inside there and screw down the screw and it'll take pretty good size wire. But um, if you do have to have a connector and it's not just on this kind of stuff. I mean it's on a, if you need it on a tractor um, I've actually used this on my starter before where the connector finally broke off. Uh, you can use this on all kinds of stuff and you can get different size copper. This is actually 3 8 copper. Um, what I did is I took the piece of copper and I swedged it out. You just cut it whatever length you think you want to need it and then swedge it. And what I used was this tool here. Um, I just took it and put it in there and drove it into there. Um, no, it's wrong again. It's kind of hard to film. There you go. You just drive it down in there with a hammer. Then when you're finished, you have this piece. Okay. When you get through with this piece, you skin your wire out ever how long you think you're going to need and if you notice there's wire coming out right there on the tip you push your wire all the way through that way you get a good connection and you take your hammer and you smack it down on there on a vice take it on a vice or an anvil and you smack it down and you flatten it out and then you take and right here you can see where I put it in my vice right there and I drilled my hole through it and there's actually wire once I tighten that bolt up um, it will actually have I'll get my bolt let's see if I can do this um, I ain't got no way of setting my camera down but let's see if I can get it a little close here you put your bolt through uh, I'm not going to be able to do it with just uh, just the hands that I have. Just one handed. Uh, I'm make him do it here. What you do is, is once you do that, that'll stick right down on there. Okay, and then you screw your nut onto that. And guess what? You didn't have to go to the automotive store. You didn't have to go anywhere. You just tighten that down now. And you have a perfectly good connector for just the piece, price of a little tiny piece of copper pipe. Which is probably maybe a quarter now. <laughs> with copper as high as it is. But that's all there is to it. I'll tighten that down. Bend these two pieces here back over to hold, the, hold it in there. But it can't come loose. And it's all bound in there inside that piece of pipe. And once I tighten it down, it can't come loose. But that's just a little trick that I've learned uh, myself. Uh, I do plumbing and electrical and heating and air. So I always still have a little piece of copper laying around. And I needed a connector one day. And I looked at the connector that was on there. And it looked just like a piece of copper pipe. And I seen how they had stuck the wire through it. So I flattened me a piece out and drilled my hole through it. And I've got on my tractor that new hauling I have is still like that. Well, y'all have a good one.